How the hell did you manage that? In all honesty, I have no idea. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. As you can see behind me, there is no chassis. The reason for that is, it is up at the sandblasters. Uh, I was going to use a wire wheel on it, try and take it all back, but there was loads of like little, really intricate places that I wouldn't have been able to get in with the angle grinder. So as a result, I took it up there. My mate Tim gave me a lift and yeah, we're uh, getting it sandblasted and good to go. I have decided with this, um, I'm going to do a direct drive front axle. So that's another modification to do to it. I've also decided to lightweight it, scrap out everything that I don't need. And uh, yeah, that's in a pile there. There is the wheels there, but that's because they're all dinted and screwed up and not really worth repairing. Uh, the new engine is there. Old engine is here. I'm going to strip that down and probably use the parts for some fun welding projects. But yeah. It should be coming back on Wednesday. When it gets back here, it's probably going to look like Swiss cheese with all the rust that was on it. Um, I did clean it up before I, I sent it off. So I'll just add a little bit of a montage here. And the next time you see me is when we will be back in the workshop, ready to go. So, we have it. The frame's not actually as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Don't get me wrong, there is some rust spots and stuff. Um, what I am gonna do is get the angle grinder out with the wire wheel, just go over all the rusted areas properly, make sure all the rust is cleared out of it. And then we're gonna actually do some rust repair. So I've got some um, like aluminium -y sort of sheets to go and cover the holes. I've also got some fiberglass body filler and we're gonna try and make this work. So bear with me, I'll either be doing that today or another day. Okay, so today we are ready to tackle this. So as you can see from it already, uh, some of the rust is already coming back. Um, that's because obviously it's sandblasted, it's now unprotected metal. Any kind of dampness that's in this garage or this workshop is gonna cause it to rust. So the next plan is to take out this rust and then begin the repairs. So behind me, as you can see, we have some safety gear, whether or not I'll be wearing that's a different matter. Uh, but we have some wire mesh to cover the holes that are actually left in it. We have what is described as cat hair body filler. Uh, so it's got fiberglass within it. Normal body filler, we've got the wire brush, we've got a sanding block with sanding paper, etch primer to treat the metal, high build primer to give it a nice finish. And I picked up some filler primer spray paint. Don't know how that's going to go, but anyway. And obviously the trusty wire wheel to help out with the project. So bear with me and we'll get into it. Okay, so as you can see, I have this on. I am trying to be a bit more careful with PPE and sorting it. So we'll, we'll see how we get on. Anyway, I'm using the angle grinder. We're going to take off some rust. On to the next bit. So as you can see, we have this giant hole here. So what I am going to do is I'm going to get some of the uh, the meshing out, and we'll uh, we'll see if we can get it to fit properly, and we'll uh, we'll make a start. Okay. So to get that, I need to go all the way under. This is a shit, but we seem to be doing all right. And that sits under there. Now the question is, how do I get it to stick? 
All right, so we got the first piece, and I'm going to cut another piece for up there. So my pieces are cut, and I've just got to stick them. I don't know how. I think probably next time, maybe buy some that's like a sticky sided mesh, but I'm sure I can get it to work. So it, d it turns out I didn't need as much of the aluminium mesh as I've got. However, I do have it for other repairs later on down the line, if I decide to do that. So what I'm gonna do now, flip you around, let you have a look, and tell you the disaster that kind of went ahead. So as you can see, we have the holes kind of filled in. There's a couple here, and one back here somewhere. This is the main bit. So I tried epoxy to start with. It didn't work. It was just a really bad idea, so we sacked that off. And then I figured, what else can I do? And I had some Gorilla tape lying around. So, as you can see, it's taped on. How that's gonna hold when I actually put the stuff on is gonna be a different matter. But what I'm kind of hoping to do is get the fiberglass stuff on, get it sort of set, remove the tape off the back, then put the fiberglass on the back as well to reinforce it, just that little extra bit. But we look ready to go. So, as we have here, what a lot of people in the industry have described to me as cat hair. Because, well, it's like cat hair. Mixy, mixy. I've probably made way too much of this. And I'm struggling to mix it up 100%. Smells nice, right? Right. So let's get started with this then. I look like this stuff has a bit of a nicer spread to it than usual filler. Hmm. I love it when my hands cramp up. Let me get this finished anyway. So that's where we're at. It looks all right, but it's not the best of jobs. I've got a feeling it'll hold. So that's it for now. I'm gonna let this dry. Um, probably do the other side at some point. And then we can obviously get to the sanding and get that all sorted and get it kind of coming together a bit. But we shall see. Okay, so we've tried out the fiberglass stuff. Um, I mean, it worked okay. It wasn't bad. It has kind of hardened on top. I've just done the underside to get it all meshed in. Uh, the next time I come back, I'm going to be sanding this down. And if all goes well, we're going to get ready to do a bit of painting. So we'll see. Anyway, back in a bit. Okay, so we're going to crack on and we're going to use some sandpaper and uh, try and get something going. I don't think this is going to go as smooth as I hope. But, we live and we learn. So, I'm going to try out my filler primer and see how that works. God knows this thing's going to be covered in primer and filler and all sorts of crap. But hopefully it looks alright in the end. Right. <clears throat> so we have some primer filler spray paint. I 
I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know what it's going to come out like. I've never used it before. I'm guessing I'm just hoping for the best. Okay, so as you can see behind me, we have the filler primer that I've put onto it. So I am gonna do about three layers of this stuff over the parts I've already done. And then it's gonna be a matter of getting some wet sandpaper and just going over it to get that final sort of finish. And then, and then I'm gonna use the high build primer to just really kind of like cover the entire thing, get it to a point. And yeah, we'll have to see how we get on. But yeah, so far we have this. Once this is done, I'll probably sand it down a little bit. Then it's the high build primer. Probably sand that down a little bit. And then we're on to the main paint. So, bear with me. The only reason that there was such a short amount of footage for this was because I filmed it on the wrong thing. And it only gave me two minutes of it. So, like I said, we're cracking on with it. We'll get it done. Okay, so this is now dry. Um, bit of a strange feel to it, but... We're gonna get it sanded down and uh, hope for the best. Tell you what, no, I'm not. Scratch that idea. It's not working out great like that. So, uh, Feck it, we're just gonna go with primer and we're just gonna get it coated and hope for the best. It's not gonna be the best of jobs, but it's for racing, it's not for fancy. So we'll see how it turns out. Bear with me. So I have some high build primer, some etch primer, and then a random primer in there. I'm gonna start. So I should have done that in layers, but I got a bit carried away. So we're done with that one. I'm gonna give it a bit of time. Hopefully it'll uh, air out in here a little bit. And then we're gonna come in with the other primer. Wait. So I've just finished up. As you can see, I still have the mask on. The reason for that is because I can't have the door open because it's raining. So we've gone with this. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm just going to show you what we've done, and we can have a look at it. video hope you've enjoyed it hope you've enjoyed the repairs sorry they're not the best of looking things but at the end of the day this is going to be a race car so thank you for watching thank you for liking and subscribing and we'll see you on the next video where hopefully this thing gets a bit of color <laughs>